License Metric Tool Wide Installation and Configuration on Linux. Welcome to License Metric Tool videos. This video will walk you through the deployment of License Metric Tool Lite on Linux, which is the easiest installation option. License Metric Tool helps you maintain an inventory of the non containerized IBM software that is deployed in your environment. It also measures utilization of various license metrics, such as PVU or RVU MAPC, by your products. It is intended to help you manage your IBM software licensing requirements and help you maintain an audit-ready posture. License Metric Tool Lite is a lightweight deployment option that is characterized by a simple infrastructure. It is based on disconnected scanners that collect software and capacity data from the scanned computers and generate packages with scan results. In case of License Metric Tool Lite, it is your responsibility to ensure that scan results are uploaded to the License Metric Tool server daily because this deployment option does not provide a built-in mechanism for automated transfer of scan results. You can upload scan results by using an automation technology of your choice, for example by configuring a file sharing service. License Metric Tool Lite is pre-approved for environments with up to 500 computers that report to License Metric Tool. For environments with more reporting computers, you can use License Metric Tool with Ansible or with BigPix. Infrastructure Overview The deployment of License Metric Tool Lite on Linux requires the installation of the License Metric Tool server and the DB2 database. Apart from that, you need to install the disconnected scanner on every computer on which you have IBM software installed. The scanner discovers software and hardware inventory by running scripts that are provided in the disconnected scanner package. The scripts use the operating system scheduler to set up software scans that run weekly and capacity scans that run every 30 minutes. They also set up daily creation of packages with scan results. The packages need to be uploaded to the disconnected data source, which is simply a directory on the same computer as the License Metric Tool server. They are then imported to the License Metric Tool server during the import that runs daily at midnight or that you can trigger manually on demand. You can automate the process of transferring packages with scan results to the disconnected data source by using a technology of your choice. In particular, if you have Ansible already deployed in your infrastructure, you can use Ansible playbooks that are delivered with License Metric Tool. You can also use a file sharing service, which is the simplest method of transferring scan results that will be shown in this video. Downloading the License Metric Tool installer. Before you can download the License Metric Tool installer, you need to place a $0 order on Passport Advantage. Although License Metric Tool is free of charge, Ordering it through Passport Advantage establishes an IBM entitlement record for the License Metric Tool license, as well as software subscription and technical support. After you place the order, the License Metric Tool All-in-One Installer for Linux becomes available on your Passport Advantage account. For information about the part number and the name of the installation package, refer to the downloading IBM License Metric Tool 902 tech node which is updated with the latest package details. Installing the server and DB2 database. After you download the all-in-one installer package from Passport Advantage, go to the directory with the installation package and extract the installation files. To start the installation, run the setup server Linux script. When the installer opens, choose the language of the installation and click OK. Read the summary of components that will be installed and click Next. Read and accept the license agreement and click Next. Then choose the first option that installs the License Metric Tool Server and DB2 and click Next. The installer will check whether the computer fulfills the installation requirements. On the next panel, review the details for the installation of DB2, installation path and home directory. Then provide a password for the DB2 instance owner. Click Next. Provide a password for the administrative user of License Metric Tool. This user is required to log into the application. By default, the username is admin. Review the installation path for the License Metric Tool server and 
click Next. Review information about the port number that will be used by the browser to display the license metric to the web user interface and the port number that will be used by the local VM manager tool. Then click Next. Installation summary is displayed. Review the summary and click Install. When the installation completes, click Done to open the License Metric Tool web user interface in the browser and complete the initial configuration. In the web user interface, choose the type of the data source from which scan results will be imported to the License Metric Tool server. In case of License Metric Tool Lite, choose Disconnected. Then provide a path to a directory on the same computer as the License Metric Tool server. Packages with scan results need to be transferred from the scanned computers to that directory. If you are planning to use a file sharing service to transfer scan results from the scanned computers, choose a directory with read-write access. Then click Create. Finally, click Import Now to run the initial import of data. After the import finishes, the License Metric Tool dashboard is displayed. At this point, it does not contain any data as you need to install disconnected scanners on the computers in your infrastructure. Installing disconnected scanners and gathering data. Disconnected scanner packages for all supported operating systems are available in the following directory on the License Metric Tool server by default. Before you deploy the disconnected scanner, you can customize it by editing the configuration files that are located in the config subdirectory. Upload the disconnected scanner package to an installation directory of your choice on the computers on which you have IBM software installed. Unpack the disconnected scanner package. To start the installation, run the setup.sh script. The script performs the following tasks. Installs the scanner, runs the initial capacity scan that collects data about the computer, and creates the computer YML file that identifies this computer. Schedules software and capacity scans that run with the recommended frequencies. Creates packages with the disconnected scan results. To check whether scan results were generated, go to the output subdirectory. A package with scan results should appear within a few minutes after the installation of the scanner. The packages are not overwritten. You now need to set up daily transfer of the packages to the License Metric Tool server. Setting up daily transfer of scan results to the License Metric Tool server. To import scan results to the License Metric Tool server, copy results packages from the disconnected computers in your infrastructure to the disconnected data source. You can automate this process by using an automation technology of your choice, for example, by using a file sharing service such as NFS. When you configure NFS exports on the computer where the License Metric Tool server is installed, Grant the read-write writes to the folder that is defined as the disconnected data source. Then mount the folder on the disconnected computers under the output directory. This way, scan results are generated to the mounted shared folder and are automatically available in the disconnected data source. Collecting capacity data from VMs and public clouds. For some types of virtual machines and public clouds, additional setup is required to collect their capacity data. For VMs, you either need to set up connections to the VM manager or run a scan of the virtualization host depending on the type of the VM. For public clouds, you need to set a parameter that identifies the computer as running on a public cloud. This video will show how to define a connection to a VM manager as this is the most common scenario. For the list of VMs and public clouds that require additional setup, as well as detailed instructions, refer to the product documentation. To set up connection to a VM manager, log in to License Metric Tool and go to Management VM Managers. Click New. Select the virtualization type and provide the required details. Click Create. Connection to the VM manager is created and its status is pending. Select the VM manager and click Test Connection. The test might take a few minutes. Refresh the panel to see the updated status. If the VM manager connection is properly configured, the connection test status changes to successful. Next steps. 
After you complete the deployment, log into Linus's metric tool and focus on the three widgets that are visible in the top row Deployment Health, Software Scan Health, and Capacity Scan Health. The widgets will inform you if any problems with the infrastructure setup occur. Troubleshoot the problems from left to right. Resolving an issue with the deployment health might automatically resolve an issue with the software or capacity scan health. Next, proceed to the classification of your discovered software inventory. Once this is done, generate an audit snapshot from the old metrics report. The snapshot is the final report of your license metric utilization. For more information about classifying your software inventory and generating the audit snapshot, refer to the product documentation or watch dedicated videos. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the links below.